what is good everybody it's your boy red x black and i'm back with another video and i am here with another election prediction i've done two of these so far and um you know i like doing it so i'm gonna just i'm gonna i'm gonna just do another one this is uh july 24th and as of right now whew, the polls aren't looking too well for donald trump that's just the the fact of the situ of the situation right now um i filled in all the safe states um, for, uh, Trump and Biden. <clears throat> and I'm going to be filling out the states that have recently been in the news for, um, polling purposes, uh, your swing states or states that have now seemingly become swing states. Um, you have, uh, Colorado, uh, Arizona, uh, Nevada, Texas, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, um, and then you have the Rust Belt. You got, oh, oh I'm gonna give Ohio to Trump because, yeah, I think he would still win Ohio. Um, and Indiana, and Indiana. So then you have Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, and uh, Minnesota. I don't know why I drew a blank in Minnesota. Then up in the Northeast, you have, oh, and Iowa. Um, <clears throat> and up in the Northeast, you, we have uh, New Hampshire and Maine at large. And the you know the split the uh, uh, split district. So recently, there's been the the polling for Trump after the George Floyd uh, riot incident. That that's what really tanked him in the polling. By the way, he handled the situation. Um, <clears throat> that's to turn the tide of the election. And so now it's gotten to a point where Biden's lead is so overwhelming that it's like never been seen like this at this point before. Um, this is not like, you can't compare this to a Hillary situation because Hillary, as much as they were overplaying her and saying how, um, how she's going to beat him by 400 electoral points and whatnot. She, by the, by election day, the polls weren't really that far off. The only polls that were really off were the Wisconsin and the Mich not Michigan, um, the Wisconsin and the uh, Pennsylvania polls. Those were the ones that were really, really just off, <laughs> but they were speculating about her winning Georgia and everything. It was mostly just speculation. She was leading in the polls by an extent. I mean, the by the, the three to four point margin, she won the electoral votes by that margin. I mean, the um popular vote by that margin. So it wasn't really that far off. But this time, Biden's lead is like insane. He's leading in Texas, Arizona, um, Nevada, Colorado, um. At one point, it, Iowa has become really close now. Um, Georgia has become close. Florida, he was leading in Florida. Um, leading in um, North Carolina. Leading in Pennsylvania. Leading in Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. <clears throat> so, and I think he was leading in Maine and uh, most likely New Hampshire. So, this is, it's, it's become so overwhelming that if you had all of, all of those states, if you won all of those states that I just named, which are the ones that are still filled out in white. If he won those states, it would be, insane. that would be a massive electoral lead. Let me, let's, let's see what that lead would look like if he had won all those states that he's leading in currently. This is what it would look like. Okay, just gonna throw all of those out. Now you see he's already at 300. Colorado. I should just go ahead and leave Colorado filled out. That's what it will look like. 379. Nope. 380. Oh, no, 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 no. 380 electoral votes. That is a landslide. If he actually won um, all those states by the margins that are currently in the polls, which in some states like Florida, Texas, it's not that much, but if I don't think he would really win by that much, neither one of them would probably win by that much, you know, but that would be that. That's what it looks like. According to the polling right now, national polling, that's what the map would look like if election night was apparently held today. But, um, you know, the polling doesn't take into account every single voter. It doesn't take into account, um, um, people's, uh, choice with who they're going to break for the night of the election. So anything could happen between now and November, but, um, my, the state that I'm going to go ahead and get into my prediction now. So I think that he will still carry Colorado, New Mexico, um, and 
there's a chance that I think he could win Arizona, but probably by two points or a one point, like a very, very small, like percentage point. So I'm going to leave Arizona in his column, but just know that it's by very, very narrow margin. I don't think he could win Texas. Texas is probably going to end up very close, closer than it was in 2016. 2016, it was about five points. So it's going to end up probably closer than that. If, if these current trends hold up, it's probably going to be at least that close. But I think Trump will still eke out Texas. Um, Georgia, don't think it's time yet. Um, I don't know if he can drive up. It depends on his uh, vice president and more of the policies that he's going to push for. That's going to determine his turnout and how excited people are for him. But um, I don't think that it's going to be enough in the metropolitan Atlanta area to overcome the rest of the state. Um, I think it will be close, same as Texas. It'll probably be a similar margin, maybe two to three point uh, for Trump, uh, two to three point lead for Trump. Um, North Carolina. I don't know if he can win North Carolina. I, I just honestly don't like because Obama won it back in 08. And that was just a special time. Obama was a different type of candidate. He was a special candidate for the time. Oops, for the time being. And um, I just don't know if he's going to be able to. He, he doesn't have the same energy level. I mean, we're in a weird election right now. But Obama actually had actual energy and actual base and everything like that. And Biden just does not have that. Um, uh, he's going to get, uh, Illinois, of course, um, Iowa, Iowa. I don't know. It, it just, Iowa, Obama won it back in, um, what was it? Oh, eight and maybe 2012. No, I don't think he won in 2012, but, um, I don't think that he can win Iowa right now. Like, I just don't know if the farmers would pull for Biden. Um, because they got some relief from, um, government relief from Trump, you know, last year after the whole trade deal incident, but still, I think farmers are still struggling from that, but I, I don't know if Biden could pull that off right now. Cause we're in, this is election is going to be, it's going to be interesting, but I don't think it's going to be like crazy insane. Um, I know it kind of looks insane cause I have Arizona filled out blue, but, um, uh, Maine at large, I think Biden may end up pulling off Maine at large um, because currently there's a Senate race going on. You have um, uh, Susan Collins. She's from Maine and she is uh, very unpopular right now. And there's uh, her challenger. What's her name? Not sweet because sweet loss. I can't remember the name of the challenger, the one who the lady who won. Well, she has a chance of defeating her and the trends are seem like they're pointing in the other direction but in favor of the Democrats. So I think that he will end up carrying Maine at large, but he may or may not, uh, you know what, just to be safe, I'm going to give the other one to Trump. So there's going to, I'm just going to keep it split. Um, Virginia things. Uh, he's definitely going to carry Virginia. That's like, that's corporate central right there. <laughs> but um, uh, New York, of course, Now, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, can he carry Pennsylvania? That's a huge question because he always talks about him from Scranton. He's a Scranton boy. He's a hard working, uh, working class. I know the working class struggle type. That's what he he always refers to when he talks about uh, Scranton, Pennsylvania. But he hasn't lived there. He's lived in Delaware most of his life. I think he was just born there. (laughs) But um, uh, uh, we're going to come back to that. I know that's a cop out, but, um, Michigan, I think Michigan's flipping blue. Um, at this point, Trump only won it by like uh, some thousand, some 5,000 votes. It, it was some small, small number. And even as Trump got into office, he still continued those same policies that harmed those um, factory workers who most likely are the ones that broke for him in Michigan back in 2016. Um, outsourcing still continued um, under Trump. And, you know, it's like nothing really changed that much. So I I think Michigan's going to end up, Biden can probably turn up enough to be able to vote for him with this new America, um, the America first uh, executive order or the, um, buy American executive order. And that would really help American businesses and manufacturing and stuff like that. So I think that's going to end up breaking for him. Michigan's going to end up breaking for him. Um, now let's go to Wisconsin. 
Oh, Wisconsin, how you have been at the center. If if the current current if the current trends keep up and if Trump keeps hurting himself <laughs> and if Biden is able to really really focus his message on manufacturing and bringing jobs back here, keeping them here and buying American, real buying American, not the America first stuff that Trump was talking about, which still it allows you to buy. When they say buy American, American can mean our allies. You can be say buy American and that can mean Canada, Mexico, uh, the UK, whatever, you know, any of our allies. So by this real buy America order or uh, buy America act would really, really force them to buy American. It would, uh, it would um, incentivize buying American. So if he can focus that message in the north, in the um, Rust Belt, just that real like I'm gonna bring your jobs back. This is like this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna focus on really buying American and rebuilding our infrastructure for real this time. We got a whole plan for it this time. That that if you focus that message hard enough, you can. I think he will be able to pull off Wisconsin. I mean, he's already won with. Um, um, with just Michigan, because even if he loses, even if Trump gets Wisconsin and he wins Michigan and has Arizona at the same time, then oops, let me take away Florida. That never mind. No, just scratch what I said. But if he just if he won those and then won Florida, as I just had Florida highlighted, he would win. And I don't think he would even need um, he wouldn't even need Pennsylvania. So um, Pennsylvania. I'm going to, I think he would have the slight edge in Pennsylvania. And keep in mind, in these states that I'm giving to him, like these swing states, I think the margins would be very slim. Like there's a slim, slim margin. Um, Wisconsin, I don't know. I, I like, I don't know if I believe it in Trump's column or not. Currently, even though he's leading in Wisconsin, I'm just going to narrowly give it to Trump. Trump will, he could narrowly eke out Wisconsin. Narrowly, narrowly. Okay. And I think that, 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 that's just maybe how it would end up. And I'm just, I'm just, look, I'm trying to be fair here, but, um, Florida coming down to Florida again, at this point, if Biden can really focus on the, uh, the retirement population in Florida and seeing how so a lot of them have broke away from Trump. I think that Biden can narrowly, and I mean narrowly because everything is narrow in Florida. <laughs> I think he can narrowly eke out a Florida win, which would give him 308 electoral votes and Trump 230. Now you could say that's kind of a landslide. I mean, it's not, it's not, that's kind of like the margin from 2016 from Trump with Hillary, but, um, yeah, that's what that's what I think that the map will end up looking like. Maybe. OK, this is just a guess. I know it looks weird because Arizona is blue and Wisconsin is red. You know, I know it looks weird, but I think that this is how the map could end up looking out if current trends hold up. I think this is what it would end up looking like. And this is just my prediction. I could be horribly wrong. <laughs> so if I'm wrong, you guys come back to this video and slap me in the face. <laughs> but um, yeah. This is what I think it would it would look like currently. Um and so yeah. Uh let me know what you guys think. Do you dis do you agree with me? Do you disagree? If you disagree, hey, that's fine. Talk about it in the comments. Go ahead. I'm not you're not gonna hurt my feelings. But um uh you know yeah, that's all I got for this one. Uh be sure to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, like, comment, comment, subscribe, like whenever you have to do whatever you do, just do it. It's your boy Red X Black. I'm out. See y'all later. Whew, this has been one crazy year.